Hi everybody, it's Lena. Today I'm going to be setting up my monthly spread for May in my She's In Her Apron planner. But I also wanted to quickly take you through what I do at the beginning of every month to set me up for success. Okay, so let's get started quickly about what I do every month. So, <laughs> I'm laughing because it's a process. I feel like I do a lot of it at the beginning of the month, but it also helps me stay organized for the whole month. So, it's sort of like my base, and then I kind of just jump off from there. So, the first thing that I do is in my She's in Her Apron planner, I set up my month. So, this is mostly functional. I know in April, I kind of made it fancier with washi tape but honestly usually I don't I just kind of it's very um functional so this is sort of like the landing pad this is also the same thing that's in my google calendar that I share with my husband that we just um, make sure that we write down appointments when he's going to be working or he has a meeting or something where he's like unavailable to help with pickup or anything if we have family events appointments those kind of things so I start with my May with this with functional appointments and then every week from there I set up my week either in the this is the she's in her apron planner or in my Erin Condren life planner which I'm only mostly using for content planning and like YouTube and Instagram and fun stuff like that but once in a while, if I want to just use a um, simplified layout, I love the vertical blocks, then that's how I kind of use this as in like an extra week if I don't want to put everything into this one. Okay, so that's what I do on a weekly basis. But at the beginning, first thing I do is this. Okay, then I also meal plan. A month at a glance so I have a template basically I didn't write it in here yet <clears throat> but like this is usually what it is so Mondays um, we have like tacos tacos or Mexican food Tuesday is pasta or chicken Wednesday is breakfast Thursday is breakfast or leftovers Friday is usually pizza Saturday my kids choose what they would like slash they're supposed to help me cook they haven't been and it's kind of getting annoying <laughs> <laughs> but they're little. They're eight, five, and six, so it's fine. But I wanted them to be more involved in the process of picking out their food so that I wasn't wasting as much food. And then Sunday is kind of like comfort, what we're in the mood for, crock pot stuff, heavier things, sauce. We're Italian. Um, I'm Italian. So I make sauce sometimes, and then we have spaghetti. Um, but where do I get all of these meals from is the question, right? Well, I collect recipes. So I have cookbooks, obviously Pinterest, you know, TikTok, those kind of things. So like if I, this is my recipe folder to try new foods. When I find something, I either rip it out of a magazine or I print it off or, you know, write it down. This is old. These are chicken marinades. So I constantly have this folder that's always full because I like magazines, if you saw my story, um, and I collect recipes. So I'm always like, oh, that looks good, that looks good, that looks good. So basically, at the beginning of the month, I will write down in this column what I want to try from my new um, folder of meals. So like in April, it's not really a good example. Oh, hello. It's not a good example because I didn't really put that much down, but let me look at March because here we go. So like, this is what I really tried to make sure that I wrote down in the meal plan. So then I also go through and mark off the days where I know that it's like a special thing. So these, my daughter's birthday is this weekend. So like the whole weekend is basically probably takeout or whatever her birthday party food is kind of thing. Sunday's Mother's Day, we'll probably go to my mom's house. So that sort of thing. Like this is Memorial Day weekend, so one of these days is probably going to be like a barbecue. Or I also look at my calendar like once this is done, 
then I can go and say, I'm pretty sure like, okay, so I haven't done it yet, but I know that <clears throat> these are going to be late nights because they're school functions. So keeping that in mind, don't plan for anything that's crazy. Like maybe that's a crock pot meal. Maybe that's a leftover meal. That's maybe that's um, like soup and sandwiches, those kind of things. So once I do all this, then every week, this is the Erin Condren Petite Planner Folio System. So in it, I have a meal planner. And that's where I would write down at the beginning of the week. Well, actually, every Friday is usually when I meal plan. And I go, th the first thing I do is I go check <clears throat> my month. And then I say, okay, we're good. You know, just, is there anything from the week before that we didn't get to eat? Or that I'm changing my mind about or that kind of thing. If somebody requested something. I fill it out in here, I make my grocery list, I order my groceries on um, online, usually for pickup on Sunday mornings at Walmart. That seems to be the best thing. And then once this is done, <laughs> then when I do my weekly planning, I can use it to fill in the box for meal planning on this side, or sometimes I've been doing it underneath here. So it's kind of like, it starts with the main month, right? And I'm pulling the recipes from here or whatever else I feel like we're in the mood for. So sometimes it's, you know, we usually have tacos. We were having them on Tuesday. It's switched to Monday. We might have to switch back now because somebody's schedule is going to change for Taekwondo. So it's a work in progress. But basically, it's a template. You can go from there. It's like a, a jumping point. You don't have to, to I don't have to stay uh, married to this. It's just, it helps me plan. It helps me stay on a budget for groceries. It helps me, like, not feel like we're wasting food, that kind of thing. Um, okay, so I'm starting month, then I do the weekly, then I fill it out in the week. Then sometimes if I'm really motivated, I will fill out my petite planner, um, ahead of time for the days. So like, I always do the month. So let's see. So here's May, you know, I didn't do June yet, but when I go, oh, I did sort of, okay. When I go to fill out this May, I'll also put it in here so that I know that I have it in here because this is more of like the main, this is like the mothership. <laughs> then these are like my to do's. So every week I do this, I, you know, I was doing good about it. A couple months ago where I would fill it out for the whole week. Now it's kind of just, I've been doing it every couple of days to just stay on top of it. So like this is my list for today, but I'm also, instead of having this out all the time, which doesn't live outside, um, or it doesn't like stay out. I wish it did, but it doesn't always. At least this page never does. When I have a weekly spread that it's, that I really need, then it will stay open like on my kitchen counter or whatever. I don't have a separate office in my house yet. We're working on it. <laughs> um, then this basically just travels with me. So when I have to make an appointment for something, I can reference this, put it in my day and move on from there. Okay. What else was I going to share about my month? Oh, so then also my kids, because they can read now. Well, two out of three can read now. And they're constantly like, what are we doing today? What day is it today? Do we have activities today? When are we going to, you know, this play place? I started to make a calendar for them. So basically what I do, this stays on the fridge. I put it in a plastic um, paper protector and it just stays on the fridge. So I printed this off online, but you can find them wherever, or you can like make your own calendar if you didn't have one or a dry erase one. But I felt like that one we kept touching or they would touch it and then it was ruined. So I just make this, nobody touches it. Um, and it, they like it, that it's sort of like a code. So like, okay, Taekwondo is a star. Now I also just got these stickers that I love. Oh my God. I don't know if you can see that they're little Taekwondo uniforms. Is that precious or what? So I'm going to use this for next time for um, my 
the May setup and I use them in the week. They're just so cute. They're really, they're really fun. So then the girls would know, okay, we have Taekwondo on every Monday, every Thursday, you know, so different sort of things. This, my daughter was taking volleyball for a little bit. So that was that code. Horseback riding is a purple heart. And then different things that come up. So I have a dentist appointment. You know, they don't have to go to school. Mom and dad are going out, so you're going to have a babysitter. We're getting our haircuts. This is my husband's birthday weekend, so we, we're going to have burgers and cupcakes. That's his actual birthday. This is the day that you're out of school early. So it helps. Honestly, it helps everybody because it's right on the front of the fridge. So it's just a glance. They can just glance at it and say, oh, okay, today's... Tuesday or today's Monday and I have Taekwondo later this has also just helped them it helped my husband just to say like what's going on for the week you know at a glance and kind of go from there so okay so now I'm gonna set up my month in the she's in her apron planner again if you're not familiar with this um, Kimmy Hughes is a youtube mama and her channel is called she's in her apron she's been along been around for a long time and she launched these planners last year last fall and i tried them out and i really liked it so then i bought the yearly one where it come it's very thick that's the only thing some people complain about it i don't mind it but it's pretty big um this is what i've been using as a motherboard or mothership, whatever you call it, the landing base. Somebody else said, I think it was Cindy from Llama Letters was like, this is the lifeblood of her planning system. She doesn't use this planner, but she referred to her main planner as like the lifeblood. And I was like, yes, that's what I'm talking about. So this is the lifeblood planner for my life. And then I have other little ones, as you saw, that just help me stay productive on my other days and other tasks. So I'm also going to use this washi tape. Again, it's from the Dollar Tree. Use up the stuff that you have. And I'm going to use my Taekwondo stickers. I've got these little cute little kits from Planner Kate. I love her little doodles and the style. I don't know. I can't explain it. The way that the handwriting is. And it's sort of like fun and teachery. Um, I used to be a teacher and that's the stuff that I would love was like the handwriting and like the Teachers Pay Teachers um, icons. The clip art. It was so cute. And then I've got a bunch of random Happy Planner spring and colorful boxes that are gold that I'm just going to kind of piecemeal together. Again, it's mostly functional. This one I don't like spend too much time making it pretty because it's really just for reference. I don't look at it all the time. Also, I have notes ahead of time that I mark. So, okay, I don't want to lose this. I'm going to stick you up here. This is a note for myself to cancel our dance membership if we're not going to stay. And then teacher appreciation is like the first week of May for us. <clears throat> so let me know in the comments, do you celebrate teacher, um, teacher appreciation week? Our school, I feel like schools didn't used to make a big deal of it. And it was sort of like an unknown, I don't want to even say secret, but like, some moms, like the moms that were really on top of everything, would send in stuff and then, I don't know if it just caught on or what, but now the homeschool association for my kiddos does different events or different, um, like there's a push for, hey, it's teacher appreciation this week. And sometimes they'll send home like ideas or like a printable that you could send out for your teacher, that kind of thing. I'm also a room parent this year. Um, so I've got that going on. So I feel like there's a lot of pressure to make sure that I get a nice <laughs> present or just something that's cute so that the teachers know that they're appreciated. And all my daughter's teachers are really wonderful. So I really want them to feel special and appreciated. So I've got those notes. This is the, my kids are going to switch Taekwondo belts. They're actually testing in a couple days to go up one level, which is amazing, but then the schedule changes. So I've been used to their yellow belt schedule for six months. My kids have been, <laughs> took a little longer this time to go up to the next belt, but 
now they're going to be green belts and it's literally on different days. So I want to make sure that I write that down in here so that I'm not forgetting and I don't go the wrong day or plan the wrong time around it. And then I also write in pencil sometimes too ahead of time, like when there's um, school things where I know that they're getting out of school early. Again, Mother's Day, this is a rehearsal, recital. So if I don't have it on a sticky note, I have it on pencil so that I know what we're doing. So I'm going to leave that for now so that I don't forget. But let's start. I'll just put down a little bit of washi tape. Okay, so I'm going to go through and I'm going to write down the main events and appointments or at least things that basically are on this side that I don't want to forget about. And I might throw some stickers in there too. And then I'll come back and do the Taekwondo ones to fit in the days that I know that we'll be able to make it. So I know we have a bunch of appointments and like it's busy with Mother's Day, dance recital, birthdays. Oh, I need a birthday sticker. And then just, you know, kindergarten orientation, all that kind of stuff. So I just want to make sure I get the appointments in there first in dark black ink so that I'm not going to worry about it. And then I'll come back with the stickers to make it cute.
So that's going to do it for my month, the month of May, uh, in my planner for now. I'm going to have to figure out the Taekwondo thing. I don't know which day we're actually going to make it there. So I don't want to put the stickers in if I don't think it's going to happen because then that confuses me. <laughs> so I'll just wait for now, but I've got everything I need. And this is my starting point to go to meals, then to weekly, then to daily, and then to do lists sometimes too. So, you know, we got to be organized. You know, I'm always one planner away from having it all. <laughs> I'm constantly trying to be the best version of myself and trying to be as much as organized as I can. So let me know if you feel that in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing and hitting the like button and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.